Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and as you can tell by the title, I'm doing something a little bit different today because I was kind of struggling to come up with an idea for today's video. Um, I wanted it to be a vegan video since I've been posting more art videos lately. So I was like, I could have did uh, or I could have done a what I eat in a day, but my eating was kind of like random today, so I was like, that probably won't be a great one. And so I was trying to come up with ideas of what I could cook, what I could make. And then I was like, I could make a video about not knowing what to cook and just like going for it because I swear, every day is like a cooking improv for me because I don't plan out my recipes unless it's like something really special one day that I'm like just really craving and I'll go to the store and buy the ingredients specifically for that. But usually when I go grocery shopping I buy around the same things every time I go and then I just try to create something delicious every week but still healthy. So yeah, I'm going to, sorry I keep scratching my leg, I got like mosquito bites from the park and then, anyways. So um, I'm going to do a video where I cook without a recipe and I feel like this will be helpful for people who um, just feel like they have to have recipes to do something. Like you want to be intuitive and learn your way around the kitchen so maybe this will be inspiration for someone to just jump in the kitchen and you know get creative. And I also got this idea from, um, if you watch Hot For Food, it's like a very, probably my favorite vegan channel on YouTube. And they have a segment called Recipe, where it's pretty much the same thing. So that's also inspired by that. But then I thought, this is like my daily life anyway, so maybe I can turn this into my own thing also. So yeah, shout outs to them. So anyways, that's a very long intro. and. Um, this video, Cooking Without a Recipe, is going to be based around a cauliflower. So, I know I want to use this cauliflower. I've had it in the fridge for about a week now. I want to use it before it gets old. Um, there's a lot you can do with cauliflower. So, I'm really just going to look in my fridge, in my pantry, and figure out what I want to do with this. So, let me bring you to the fridge. Now, it's not very organized. The kitchen is not very organized, but, um... So, this is the wall. You can't even see it, can you? Um, we got some almond butter in here. I can make some kind of dip. Got tahini, uh, gochujang, dipping things. Um, I have some. Oh, I have, I have two things in this. So I, I need to use lettuce before it gets old, so we're probably going to put some cauliflower, like maybe like a cauliflower salad. Oh yeah, and I have this avocado that's getting old too. So okay, I'm thinking some type of salad, yeah, okay, yeah. And I have this red onion that <laughs> needs to be used. This is kind of like cleaning out your fridge too also. So. Okay, so I'm thinking I have this whole new, I just bought some more tahini, so I could do like a roasted cauliflower salad, I feel like, would that be filling with avocado and red onion with tahini dressing? That sounds good. Um, let's, let's go to the pantry. This is our pantry quarters. Uh, let's see, so I could roast the cauliflower with chickpeas, which I've done before. Chickpeas, I don't know why I said it like that. That could be good, roasted cauliflower and chickpeas. Salad, I think a salad is a good idea anyways because um, Derek and I went out to eat for lunch and it was still like, I guess healthy, it was like a, um, a tofu is so good. A mixed vegetable tofu vermicelli dish, and it was so good. But it was sturdy, so I'm not very, I'm not like super hungry for dinner. So I think a salad's a good idea. I have potato, like a whole bag of potatoes too that I could use. Organic russet potatoes. 
I don't really want potatoes though, to be honest. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna toss the cauliflower and the chickpeas in like a spice blend um, and just make a tahini dressing. I'll probably do, oh, I'm out of lemon. I have lime, so I can make a lime tahini dressing. Maybe, yeah, I guess I'll just do that. I usually do lemon tahini with avocado and over some romaine lettuce. Sounds good. I'm really zoomed in. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's start getting this together. Okay, so I just picked out all of the seasonings, spices that I'm going to toss the cauliflower and the chickpeas in. So I'm gonna run through those really quick. I have paprika, um, some black pepper, some thyme, a little turmeric for color, really. Um, not so much taste. You can't really taste it unless you're heavy handed. Garlic powder, um, oregano, a little bit of cumin, and nutritional yeast, and then some pink salt. So that is what I'm gonna toss everything in with some coconut oil. And yeah, let's start that so those can be roasting while I make the tahini dressing and chop up the rest of the vegetables. Oh, and I got a pan with some parchment paper that everything is gonna go on. So let's start. So we have the cauliflower chopped up and the chickpeas drained. Now I'm going to season them up and toss them in an oven that's set to 450. So they roast up real good, and then we'll start on the dip. So while the cauliflower and the chickpeas are in the oven, we're going to make our tahini dip, so, or tahini dressing. So these, this is like basically the recipe I use every time I make tahini dressing. Just um, I balance out like the tahini with some type of acidity and some type of sweetness. So you start off with your tahini dressing. Um, and I like to add garlic powder to mine. Then I usually add lemon like I said earlier, but Today I'm going to add um, lime, then we have just a little tamari just for a little salt umami flavor, then like a little bit of maple syrup left, and that's it really. And then you just mix it all up together with a little bit of water and you have your teeny dressing. We're just gonna chop up the red onion, the avocado, and the lettuce, and then everything will be ready to assemble once the veggies in the oven are done. The roasted veggies are done. Now I'm just going to sprinkle on a little bit more of the nutritional yeast just because I love this stuff. Um, put a little sprinkle of salt. And now we're going to assemble our dish. So I put some of the salad in a bowl and I'm going to add the roasted cauliflower and chickpea blend on top, like so. Like I said earlier, I'm not like crazy hungry, so I'm not gonna go wild, but there's plenty of leftovers, so I know I'll be satisfied tomorrow. There we 
there we go, the roasted veg. And then I just chopped up a portion of the avocado, just like a single portion's worth. I'm gonna put that on top. And then we add some tahini dressing right over top of this bad boy. As much as you like. Doesn't that look so good? So proud. And I had no idea what, you know, I was gonna make today, but it came out looking real good and I'm gonna taste it on camera. All right, let's give this a taste. Make sure I get everything on the fork. We got the lettuce, the red onion, the avocado, the cauliflower, and the chickpea all on one fork. It's still kind of hot, the it's still kind of warm. That's so good. I think roasted cauliflowers are like one of my favorite vegetables. Up. I'm not gonna put that in. Just taste, just, I just want you to taste it. Wasting your breath. I'm about to motherfucking taste this goddamn salad on y'all folks. And I know this shit hit me. Honest opinion? This is excellent. Isn't it? I thought you'd like it. That's not right. No, like in all seriousness, it's really good. It's right, right. I'm actually gonna eat it. Cause after I tasted it, I was like, this shit's bomb. It's really good. Thanks for putting on a shirt and tasting it. Yo, shit, niggas. I'm the. This shit busting on them folks. Yeah. 